Brian Doherty with Total Farm Marketing, our guest today. Brian, as we start to look at some of these livestock markets, give me a picture of, of how we're setting up for 2022. Uh, and we can even include things like milk in that conversation. Yeah, we, we sure can because the value is there. Uh, we, we've saw uh, milk cross over the $20 barrier. And historically, when we see that, um, it, it's not necessarily a cap, but we have a tendency to see where over time, dairy producers do what they do best, they increase production. So we've got $20 milk, you've got cattle approaching in April, the let's say mid 140s is a good target to expect. Um, these are prices that, that reflect good demand, maybe some tighter inventory, but also just an overall general push in the commodity complex which means dollars flowing into these markets as well. So so it, now is not the time to necessarily kind of rest easy and fall asleep thinking, hey, we're in a comfort zone. I keep reading articles where people are saying, well, there's limited downside, there's big world demand. These things ebb and flow all the time. And I only need to take you back six months, 12 months, 18 months in particular to see how rapidly things can ebb and flow. So while we're generally supportive of the commodity complex, these particular markets, dairy, live cattle, grains, they offer great opportunities. We'd like to look ahead in dairy in particular, first quarter, second quarter, maybe all year, starting to really think about some strong selling opportunities to shift risk. We expect production will likely, there is not a shortfall of corn we had 177 bushel yield. So there, it's not like we're gonna run out of corn tomorrow. The concern would be if we have a weather market next summer, but right now I would suspect that the dairy producer probably doesn't cut back on production much and probably increases production. All right, well, it will uh, be something to watch. Of course, uh, the livestock market continues to be pretty dynamic and that inflationary pressure, something to keep an eye on. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Brian. We'll be back with more Ag Day coming up. Just to discuss marketing strategies, call 800-334-9779.